Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to set up NMT system, which is neural machine translation, in order to help you and uh, automate some repeated translations. Uh, NMT system uh, based on Neural Machine Translation, we are going to depend on the open source project, which is OpenNMT. And they have a website, OpenNMT.net. This website uh, is a really great resource for um, OpenNMT. And uh, I used this uh, website to find a lot of information about uh, this topic, in fact. And it has four documentations. So we have three frameworks, so we are going to use PyTorch. It is the one that we are going to use it on Windows environment. So this uh, PyTorch, it will not work uh, as it is supposed directly, but we need to install some other programs in order to make uh, a suitable environment to run uh, PyTorch and to also use the open source. So here from the for documentation of PyTorch um, on, <coughs> on OpenNMT website, you will find that there is uh, overview, there is also an installation, and all topics are uh, explained really in a great way. So uh, we have here an uh, overview and our first step is installing PyTorch but as I said we cannot do this directly we should, we should choose uh, Windows and we will use Conda so this command it will not work if we put it in CMD command line it will not work so we have to install uh, Miniconda. Miniconda is uh, the smaller edition of Anaconda. So I already uh, downloaded them to save time. We just need to open and install it. Just keep this user I'm sorry that uh, the machine is not very quick because uh, I'm using virtual machine. My main machine is I'm already installed in. So we should check this option because this is important. The first time I did it, check it, the command didn't work. So just check it in order to recognize the conda commands and command line so after make sure after making sure that you checked it press next okay. now installing Usually it doesn't take that much time, but uh, machine is very slow, really. Anyway, it is done now.
So now uh, this control command is going to work now in the command line. So just open normal command line cmd and we will use a command line here. This command called install PyTorch. Make sure it is Windows because you probably get it by mistake for Linux. So <clears throat> it will process the command and Execute it properly. It will ask us to install other few things. For sure, we are writing yes. Now it is um, downloading. It will just take a um, few time. If your internet speed is fine, in my case, I just took time and I had to pause the video until I finish. So this is a PyTorch itself. As I said, it will take some time. It can be paused, but I will pause it and I will turn back to you. Okay, it is done now. And uh, PyTorch is completed, but still other uh, dependencies. Still downloading. I think the connection is fine, but the machine itself it is quite slow. So, NMT is a, a great tool, and in fact, I'm very enthusiastic. Even I'm not uh, familiar with uh, Python. But I like to try new technologies, and that thing is really amazing. It is like uh, taking your style in writing and the translation, and it will start to imitate you how you are translating. It will learn directly from the data that you are adding. Now it is done. So uh, we need now to install Git, which will enable us to uh, download the project from GitHub. So we will download one for Windows. Yes, this one. Um, I already downloaded it, so no need to download it again to save time. just a uh, simple installation it doesn't take much time it 
just going smoothly and everything looks fine. So after finishing it, we will just open a new command line. And we will add this command in it. This is will download uh, the open source project from GitHub to the folder of the user. And it is very important to follow the instructions exactly as they are because if you are missing something in the middle, it will maybe cause a problem or errors for you. So you should pay attention for small details. Anyway, the step for downloading the project. So now command line. Just press enter and it will download directly. It is done. The second command, we are just browsing the directory in order to use uh, files inside. So from these files we will, there is a file called requirements. So we will install uh, things which uh, are included inside this file. Now it is done. It will look like this after it is done. It is just a uh, PIP edition. I think it is uh, older. Became old. And now uh, we we are ready to go with uh, step one, processing the data. In the user folder, you will find that there is uh, a new folder which is open and empty. Inside there is data, inside the data you will find there is a source text which is separate lines. That means every sentence in a line. At least you should use uh, files with one million or one hundred thousand, at least one hundred thousand sentence. That means one hundred thousand lines. Also, the source and target should be the same. And then we have uh, validation. Also, just a few lines from the source and the target again in order to uh, validate the progress of the training so we're going to use uh, pre-processing data for sure there is uh, something called tokenization but it is better to uh, make another part another tutorial for for it uh, for preparing data I will make another uh, video. I will just uh, show you in details how to prepare your data. And I will give you also a free tool to help you preparing the data. Because also I had some errors when I got a file from my site. But the files which uh, come uh, with the project itself, this sample, it works fine, it is already prepared for training. And now, after it is done processing, you will just add a training line and it will keep makes the training for 24 hours. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Just subscribe and share. Thank you.